Now see, let's prepare the phasor diagram. So this is the parallel combination of L, C and R. So we know this thing in parallel combination, the potential drop across each element will be same one, but the current will be different one for each element. So here, now to prepare the phasor diagram, we will consider the voltage phasor as the reference, take it on x-axis. So this is voltage phasor and that is same one for all. Now, in case of register, there is no phase difference between voltage and current. So current phasor for register is connected, or sorry, represented in the direction of voltage phasor. And current through register is suppose IR. So this is IR phasor. Then after, if we think about capacitor, so for capacitor, current lead the voltage in phase by pi by 2. So here, the current phasor of capacitor that is represented pi by 2 ahead means on positive y-axis here. Then in case of inductor, the current lag behind by pi by 2 in phase with respect to the voltage. So current phasor for inductor that is represented at minus pi by 2 with respect to voltage, therefore on negative y. So now the resultant current, that is IL minus IC. So now this IR and IL minus IC will give you the resultant current that is I. So from this phasor diagram, we can write I that is under root IR square plus IL minus IC whole square raised to 1 by 2. So IR, I that is V by R. Now here we can substitute IR that is V by R, so V square upon R square. IL that is V by XE, so V by sorry, IL that is V by XL, V by XL. And IC that is V by XE. So substitute all values here, take V common and take it outside the bracket. So we can write I that is V into 1 upon R square plus 1 upon XL minus 1 upon XE whole square raised to 1 by 2. Okay. Now here we want to calculate Obtain the current RMS value in each branch of the circuit. So IR that is V by R. So V and R that we have to take from example 7.11. So their value of V that is 230 and R that is 40. Substitute, you will get the answer. Then IL. So current through inductor branch. V that is 230, L that is by Henry substitute, you will get the answer. Then, sorry, XL. XL that is 2 pi FL. Here first calculate XL and then substitute, you will get the answer. IC that is V by XE. So V upon XE that is 1 upon 2 pi FC. So separately calculate it by taking value C that is 80 microfarad. XC calculate, substitute it here, you will get the answer. And then at resonance Z that will be equal to R. Clear? So at resonance when Z equal to R, it implies that here the impedance of the circuit that will be maximum one. So from this equation, you can understand this thing. When your impedance that is maximum one, then current that will be minimum one. Clear to all of you?